Welcome to the Five on Five. We are pleased to be joined today by State Representative Pam Marsh. Pam, thank you so much for being oh, here for today. Me. You just got done with the uh, yeah. first session. Right. Long history in politics. How was it different being in the state legislature for you? Well, this was, of course, my first term up there, so there's a huge learning curve. I had to start by just figuring out how to heck to get your way through the Capitol to find out where you're supposed to be and when. Um, and then over time to try to understand really how power flows in the building, which is a much more complicated question. Um, so it, it was a great experience and uh, it was a learning curve. Yeah, the learning curve that then you got to learn and then you got to get going. That's right. Oh my goodness. Talk a little bit about what was maybe, uh, what impressed you most about your experience in Salem? Well, I, I, first of all, I think we had some good accomplishments. Um, not everything that we were aiming for, certainly, um, and there are some disappointments, but we did do some very good work, I think, for families and communities. I was impressed by the quality of my colleagues. When you have a group of legislators who are part-time volunteers, essentially, um, low-paid, who are doing tremendous work on behalf of the state of Oregon. And I think we should be really proud of them. On the flip side, what maybe concerns you most about what you saw? Well, it's a partisan environment, which was new to me. I've worked in local government, which is nonpartisan. So I had to understand kind of how the parties work, how they work together, um, how we can collaborate across parties to get the best work done. Uh, but that was a new experience for me. Any surprises? Um, n n I think just figuring out how the whole environment works was the, was the biggest um, challenge in that. Um, no real surprises um, other than, uh, again, just figuring out the complexity of issues that we have to deal with and being overwhelmed sometimes at, um, at the challenges that we face as a state. We saw the number of bills that were on the governor's desk. There was a, a lot happening, and we're talking about five months. Do you think that there's right. a need for a longer session? I think we do need to look at that part-time legislature notion. Um, we're cramming 90 people in a building in the state capitol, giving them five months and expecting them to make all the good policy decisions that we need to run the state in our complex days um, that we all live in. Over time, I'm not sure you get the best decision making always out of that process. So. I think we do need to look at that on the long term. Um, we did a couple of years ago make a shift to a very short session in the second year of every uh, biennium. So next year we'll meet for six weeks. But that's really for budget adjustments and small changes, um, not for big policy decisions. So over, again, it, it, that's a challenge we need to look at over time. Well, we've got much more to talk about, but we are okay. going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We are pleased to be joined once again by State Representative Pam Marsh. Pam, thank you so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. Talking about the uh, legislative session, what impressed you, what concerned you. Are there some legislative issues that you plan to introduce in the next session? Well, we're going, one of the unfinished areas of business was um, the question of energy efficiency and support for the solar industry. Unfortunately, we took a step back from our support for those um, entities in the last session. So we need to go back and look at what kinds of tax credits or other legislation we can do to support the solar industry, which is a big deal in Southern Oregon. We have one of the biggest solar industries here um, as represented across the state. Um, the biggest overwhelming issue um, that we have to go back to is revenue reform. I was heavily involved because I was a member of the Revenue Committee, which was wonderful. It gave me a front seat. And we really looked at problems in our fundamental tax structure. We got very close to making some significant changes in that and moving toward um, bringing in some additional sources of funding. But we didn't quite make it there. We were uh, a voter too short. Um, clearly, that is a conversation that needs to return. Uh, we're operating on a tax structure that we put together last century that's just inadequate and unstable for this century needs. So a revenue conversation is a big one to come back. Going to keep being busy for you. I think so, yeah. Speaking of busy, a busy weekend in Ashland. You had a front mm -hmm. row seat to the visit from Governor Kate Brown as well as Secretary of Interior. What was your takeaway from that visit this weekend? Well, I, I think, first of all, tremendous thanks to the governor for really stepping up. Um, she came and she spent a good chunk of the weekend in the Cascade Siskiyou National Monument. She went up on Sunday morning and had a horseback ride out to the far edges of the woods to really see what the expansion area that's, that's now a part of the Cascade Siskiyou National Monument looks like. Um, she then met, had a private meeting with Secretary Zinke. 
Um, many of us who are local officials also got to meet with him at one time or another in the weekend. So I think we gave him a good show. We, we talked about the science that really underlies the um, monument. We talked about the economic development opportunities that are, that are there. And I think we shared the broad pub public support that the monument has in this area. So it was a good weekend and very grateful to the governor for participating so heavily. Too soon to tell what may come out of this? I think it is too soon to tell. I think um, the secretary was impressed with what he saw. Um, he's clearly at the direction of the administration looking at a variety of issues. Um, we're hoping for the best. And if our viewers would like to contact you as you, you uh, keep as you keep busy, what's the best way for them to do that? Well, let me suggest two ways. First of all, I can always be called on my cell phone. It's 541-282-4516 and I welcome phone calls. Um, I, and email is rep.pammarsh at oregonlegislature.gov. Um, and we'll always try to respond to those. Also, when I'm home in the district, I'm happy to meet with people if that is, seems appropriate. So The cell phone's on vibrate, or else we might be hearing it already, <laughs> given your cell phone number. Well, State Representative Marsh, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate well, having I'm you in Well, I'm really studio. grateful to have the chance to talk about it. Thanks. We'll be right back.